Hey guys, Gregory here and today we're going to be talking about how to strum and change chords at the same time. Now, this is really an important topic for any beginner guitarist because what we're speaking of here is how to maintain the rhythm of a song. And maintaining the rhythm is really important because it marks the difference between someone that sounds like they're still practicing to someone that sounds like they're actually playing a song. So to teach this lesson, I am going to be using the song Happy Birthday. It has just three chords in it, G major, C major, and D major. And for the right hand, we're going to be using the strumming pattern that goes down, down, up, up, down, up. Now, if you don't know these things specifically, you can still watch the video, but I do have video lessons on how to do all of these things, which I will link to. Okay, so let's first take a look at what the chords are in Happy Birthday. They go G, and then D, and then D, and then G, and then G, and then C, and then D, and G. Alright, so what we want to do next is we want to kind of pay off all the chord changes. The first chord change we have is G to D. The second chord change is D back to G. Then the third one is G to C. And then the last one that we find that's unique is C to D. So here's the thing, as a beginner, strumming and changing chords is really just a bit of an information overload. So what we're going to do is we're going to simplify the chord changing process a bit so that we can at least maintain the rhythm on the right hand. And we're going to do that by changing the chord by first moving the first finger, at least for this chord change. So to get from G major to D major, the first finger has to go from the second fret fifth string to the second fret third string and then once we have that finger there while strumming we're going to try to finish the rest of the chord so it's going to look like this i'll play it after four one two three four and then move the first finger and now that we have that there just try to finish the chord the most important thing is that the right hand does not stop. Okay, so before we continue, just remember that this is an exercise and we aren't actually going to get a whole lot of time to change the chords perfectly, okay? The idea here is we kind of want to get you in the habit of just moving along. Your right hand is going to keep going and your left hand is going to do its best job of making the chords. Once we don't stop to think. Okay, so let's practice G to D together. Starting on G, we're going to start with the strum and then to get to D, we're going to first move the first finger straight down from the fifth to the third string while keeping the strum and then we're going to try to finish the chord on the left hand. Okay, so after four, one, two, three, G, one, two, three and first finger, third string, finish the chord if you can now. Try it again from G. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. First finger to the third string. And then finish the chord. One more time. One, two, three, four. Two, three. First finger down to the third string. Two, finish the chord. Okay, so the other chord changes are going to be the same thing. We just need to decide what finger we're going to start with. So the next chord change is D back to G. So let's go with the middle finger. The middle finger goes from D on the 2nd fret 1st string up to the 3rd fret 6th string. Okay, you can almost imagine there's a line between those two points. 2nd fret 1st string, 3rd fret 6th string. So I'll just do it once. But you can practice it on your own the same way we did like G to D. So after four, one, two, three, D. One, two, three, middle finger goes up. And then finish the chord as soon as you can. Okay, and that's it. Okay, so the next chord change we have in our song is G to C. 
Now, between G and C, I like to encourage my students to start with the third finger. Okay? So, the third finger from G goes from the third fret, first string, straight up to the third fret, fifth string. So, we're going to try to start with that after four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, third finger up. And finish the chord as something good. The last chord change that we have is C to D. So for this chord change, I would encourage you to use your first finger. We're going to move the first finger from the first fret, second string, to the second fret, third string. Okay? After four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. And then first finger. And finish the chord as soon as you can. That's it. All right, so that was the lesson. Now you would find that after some time, you would not have to be so methodical in how you practice your chord changes because the idea here is we just want to kind of get the left and the right hand to keep moving. And once you get the hang of it, you will get the hang of it for all chord changes. So if you did enjoy the lesson, please like, share, and subscribe. It will help me immensely. But until next time, goodbye.